Hello everyone, I am Devojit and welcome to the fifth video of this lecture series. In today's video, we will learn about Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. This is a very important topic as you will find that many problems come from this topic in the competitive exams. So, let us begin. What is Maxwell Boltzmann distribution? So, this is a probability distribution named after James Clark Maxwell and Ludwig Boltzmann and in the context of thermodynamics and kinetic theory of gases, this probability distribution defines the probability distribution of velocity of gas molecules which are in thermal equilibrium. So, let me write all the things. in the context of thermodynamics and kinetic theory of gases This gives the probability distribution of velocity of gas molecules and uh, these gas molecules are non-interacting they are in thermal equilibrium at temperature T. So, by example, the system can be thought of like a container with ideal gas, where the gas, gas molecules, they do not interact with each other, but they have collision with the container body and uh, among themselves and when they are having collision they then exchange energy and momentum and uh, in this method they come to thermal equilibrium at temperature T. So now let me write the distribution. So PV is m over 2 pi kbt whole to the power p by 2 times exponential of minus m v square over 2 kbt and this is 
for three dimensional system similarly for 2d we can write it as m Two pi cavity two over two, or basically just uh, so basically just uh, m over two pi cavity exponential. Minus m square two kvt, but the particles are moving in two dimensions only. So v is v x i cap plus v y j cap, and similarly in one dimension. This will be m over two pi kvt exponential minus m v x square two kvt, and here also. The particle is moving only in one direction, so v is v x i cap. So let me also define what the terms are here. It is uh, quite obvious at this moment. M is mass of the particles. So here particles are just the gas atoms or molecules. Kb is the Boltzmann constant. T is the absolute temperature. So, we will derive these formulas in a moment, but as you can expect that one of the properties of these distributions is that since they are probability distribution, the integration of P1, V, dV is 1, where the velocity is 0 to infinity. Similarly, for other cases also, we can write integration over P3 or P2 V is 1. Here, dq V can be dx dy dz similarly if we had two dimensional we would have d square v as dx dy okay and since we have the probability distribution of velocity we can easily obtain the probability distributions of of momentum can obtain we can obtain probability distribution of 
energy and similar things so now let us proceed to the derivations and this can be derived with two different approach one from kinetic theory of gases and also from statistical mechanics so here for our case we will just use the uh, derivation from statistical mechanics which will be easier and we can also apply this knowledge to later lectures of the series where we can where we will be discussing statistical mechanics okay so let us consider a system where we have in particles and these particles are non interacting classical particles which means that each particle state can be considered independently and they are in thermal equilibrium at temperature T. Now let us also assume that there are an i number of particles which are in ith microstate. A microstate can be thought of as a microscopic configuration of the system any number of particles are in the ith microstate which have energy ei then we know ni is proportional to exponential of negative EI over KBT where again KB is the Boltzmann constant how this expression arrives or how this can be derived we can discuss that in another lecture but for today we will assume it to be true and proceed further so we can again see that if the total number of particles increases then the which is n if n increases then ni will also be increasing we can say that in i over n is again proportional to this exponential term and we can write that a is the proportionality constant over cavity a is the proportionality constant so now what is 
in our brain. This can be thought of as the pro probability of finite number of particles to be in the ith microstate. And if there are many number of my such microstates, we can see that summation over Ni will be nothing but n or summation over Ni by n will be 1. So, we can use this on this equation use this formula let me label it as formula 2 in this one formula 1 So, what we can obtain is summation over n i over n is a summation over exponential minus e i over cavity. So, we know that this term is equal to 1. So, we can write it as a summation over i exponential minus e i over k b t is 1. So, we now know the probability constant to be 1 over summation over i exponential to the power minus i over a b t. So, let me put a box around that and this also implies that n i over n is exponential e to the power i over k b t summation over j exponential minus e j over so this is a question three again I have forgotten to record some part so this is recorded at the end of the video but I will edit it uh, in the proper place. So, here I have already written that the denominator part here that is called the partition function and the probably in some later video I will discuss about partition function in detail and with the help of this partition function we can rewrite n i over n in a simpler form here and here this beta term is 1 over kvt. So, now we are assuming that the potential energy of the system is 0. So, the particles are non-interacting. In this case, the energy will be given by half mv square where n is the mass again and v is the velocity vector equal to vx i cap, vy c cap and vz a cap. And similarly, we can obtain the momentum vector to be vx i cap. P y j cap, p z k cap. Now, 
we can rewrite the energy to be p square over 2m where p is the momentum then the energy of the ith microstate which has energy ei this can be given by ei equal to pi square over 2m and we can expand it in terms of pi x pi y and pi z ei equal to pi x square pi y square pi z square whole by 2m and then we can rewrite in i by n as 1 over z exponential negative pi x square plus pi y square plus pi z square over 2m kvt now we need to identify what n i by n is it is proportional to the probability density function let us say this is p of finding a molecule or atom let's say particle to be the general case so this is probability density function p of finding a particle with this momentum so we can write that p of pix piy piz is proportional to again exponential of this whole thing I am writing it pi x square pi y square pi z square over 2 m kvt now here since this is a probability density function and it is a continuous distribution we need to recalculate the constant a let me rewrite the equation in a simpler form we can say that the probability distribution function of finding a particle with momentum p is proportional to a times exponential minus p square over 2m kvt where a is the proportionality constant and this can be calculated from integrating to be 1 and so we have the probability distribution of p equal to a exponential negative p square over 2m kvt
where a can be found from the fact that integration over p p dq p has to be 1 and we can just write the value of the integration without actually performing it this let's say it equation 4 So equation 4 gives that integration in px py pz exponential minus px square plus py square plus this is square over Vm kbt will be 1. I am sorry, I forgot to put the dqp term which can be written as dpx dpy dpz and that will be equal to 1 and a will be 1 over this integration And this will be one over pi m kvt whole cube. We obtain that a is. I m k b t to the power minus p by 2. I think I made a mistake here. So let me delete it. Okay, so A will be 1 over 2 pi m kbt to power 3 by 2. So there will be this two term I missed. So this integration, this can be done from comma function integration and I will 
briefly discuss this in the next lecture when I uh, I will be solving some problems. So just to denote it here, gamma x is defined to be zero to infinity z to the power x minus one e to the power minus z dz. So this is a form of gamma function and we will encounter this kind of integration here and from that we can get the value of a. So after all this what we obtain is p of p is 1 over Two pi m kvt whole cube exponential minus p square over two m kvt. So this is the probability density function of finding a molecule in the system with a momentum p. So let me box this result. So now that we have that, then similar if we just scroll back to the top, we see that we have uh, written the probability distribution function of velocity here. So now the question is how do we go from probability distribution of momentum to probability distribution of velocity. And uh, just for a note here, this is for 3D. For 2D and 1D case, we can similarly derive these formulas, but for 2D case, PZ term will not be there and all, there will be only integration over dpx and dpy. And if we do that carefully, then we will obtain that A is there 2 pi m kvt to the power minus 1. This minus 3 by 2 term will not be there. Okay, so just let me write this formula which we use integration of e to the power minus px square 2 m kvt integration from minus infinity to infinity this integration all are from minus infinity to plus infinity dpx this will give root of 2 pi m kvt and since here there are three terms that's why we are obtaining this whole to the power 3 and if there are only one term we will obtain just this term and if there are two term we will obtain 2 pi m kvt. So then how to go from probability density function of p to probability density function of velocities we know that p is equal to mv. So now we need to utilize the fact that the probability of finding a particle with um, momentum between p and p plus dp is equal to the probability of finding a molecule with t between v and v plus dv. So we can write that p of p 
टी क्यू पी इज इक्वल टू पी ऑफ पी टी क्यू पी और P of V is P of P dP over dV whole cube. So, which implies P of P is M cube. P of P. So let me box out this result. So now if we use this result and this result together, then we will obtain that. probability density function of velocity of molecules is m cube times 1 over 2 pi m k b t to the power 3 by 2 exponential of minus p square over 2m kbt and here we can write the p square term as m v whole square. So, on simplification this will become P of V equal to M by 2 pi KBT whole to the power 3 by 2 exponential of minus MV square over 2 kbt. So, this is the derivation and I just want to briefly discuss how we got this uh, integration factor here. So, I thought, I think that uh, this part was not properly explained. So, let me just do that here. So, we have the integration over Px, Py, Pz e to the power minus px square py square pz square to m kbt then dpx dpy dpz and we can write this as integration over some px e to the power minus px square over 2mkbt dpx and since all the terms are here px, py and pz are similar we can obtain this 
and the integration which is over px in this line this will give a result of 2 pi mkbt and that is what I have tried to write here but this was not very tidy so I have written it here so just to recap in today's video we learned about Maxwell Boltzmann distribution and we derived it with some particles uh, a number of particles and in a number of particles to be in the state state i with energy ei and then we identified the number ni over n to be the probability density function p of finding a particle with momentum p and from there we got the probability distribution function and that is normalized with this equation and the normalization factor will give the 1 by root over 2m pi kbt whole cube term and this term will be different for 1d, 2d and 3d gas and we also saw how from the probability density function of momentum we can get probability density function of velocity and similarly from this we can also get the probability distribution function of energy so that you guys can easily do so here i am ending this video and in the next video we will solve some problems which are related to maxwell boltzmann distribution oh uh, it seems i have again forgotten to put the whole cube here so just to be clear it is equal minus p x square 2m kvt dpx is root of 2m pi kvt so this is the formula okay so that's all for this video and in the next video we will solve problems with Maxwell Boltzmann distribution.